we help people manage their weight. As far as we know, this is the first study to specifically ask obese women to maintain their weight during pregnancy. I am 26 weeks so far and I have gained a pound and a half. We give people better tools to manage depression. Two weeks ago, I was almost suicidal. And look at how much better I feel just in two weeks. Let's go, girls. And we help to ensure that more people are screened for cancer. Without my doctor checking me out carefully, I wouldn't be standing here. Uh, I'd be dead. We are the Kaiser Permanente Center for Health Research, and we've been improving people's lives for over 50 years. Starting with a handful of employees in a small basement office in Portland, Oregon, the center has grown to more than 300 employees in three different states. If you talk to most of the scientists and the kind of work that we do, they would say that it's about actually not just doing the science, but actually seeing it work that's so rewarding. Mary Durham has directed the center since 1995, when she took over from Mitch Greenlick, the first director who ran the center for 31 years. We viewed the Kaiser Permanente program in Oregon as our laboratory, which was a very unique laboratory because it had single medical records, it had the ability to get data across all the healthcare services, it had its willingness to change to do demonstration projects. One of the first projects was part of the National War on Poverty. The Johnson administration was building neighborhood health centers to provide medical care for poor people. But Greenlick had a better idea. He convinced the administration that Kaiser could care for Portland's poor by bringing them into the existing managed care system. It was the first of many projects aimed at improving care for underserved patients. The project Stop CRC is about working with health systems, in this case community health centers, to raise the rates of colorectal cancer screening. The research center has always been somewhat independent of the health plan, receiving most of its funding from public health agencies like the National Institutes of Health. Those federal grants provide about 70% of the center's funding. About 15% comes from industry and private foundations, and another 15% from Kaiser's own Community Benefit Fund. We give a lot to Kaiser. Kaiser gives a lot to us in terms of the access to data and uh, the access to our clinical partners who are vital for our ability to do our research. One of those partners is nephrologist Micah Thorpe, who worked with researchers to solve a medical mystery. The clinical problem is that there is a large, very large population of people who have chronic kidney disease. So they have, you know, kind of minor kidney disease, um, but only a small portion of that large population will ever go on to need dialysis and, and develop end-stage renal disease. We got a 50-year-old male. Thorpe and his research partners developed a mathematical formula to predict which of these patients are at highest risk for kidney failure. A pharmacist contacts the patients to make sure they are taking the right high blood pressure medications and that they are not taking over-the-counter medications that could further damage their kidneys. So the prevention of one year of dialysis saves somewhere on the order of about 50 to 60,000. And more importantly, it prevents patients from having to undergo what's a life-changing, difficult treatment. Most of the researchers work in Oregon, but the center also has offices in Georgia and Hawaii. Researchers oversee some clinical trials, but most use Kaiser's unique integrated health record system to conduct their studies. The secure database contains records for more than 8 million patients, allowing researchers to ask and answer some of healthcare's most vexing questions. Tonight, a major breakthrough when it comes to childhood obesity. In 2007, researchers published a landmark study showing that when a mother develops diabetes during her pregnancy, her child's risk for obesity is greatly increased. Another having high glucose in pregnancy changes the metabolism of the future child. And if we can intervene and treat to try to normalize her glucose during pregnancy, we can modify that extra risk. Hillier's research has helped to change the way clinicians diagnose and treat gestational diabetes. Linda Barr is hoping her research will change the way they treat chronic pain. There have been few options for clinicians in, in treating chronic pain. 
Um, this has led to an over-reliance on the use of opioid medications, and we know that particularly at high doses that opioids are associated with worrisome side effects. Our project really provides other alternatives to both clinicians and patients. I can manage my own pain and I don't have to rely on narcotics on a daily basis. It's like night and day. I have a whole new life now. Kaiser patients aren't the only ones who benefit from the center's research. So do millions of people who hear about it in the popular media, from traditional news outlets like the New York Times to social media channels like YouTube. Well, this lady did a study about it. She mailed fit tests to hundreds of people in Portland, Oregon, who haven't been screened for colon cancer, and 40% mailed them back. The center studies a wide range of health conditions that affect millions of people, including obesity, diabetes, cancer, mental health, vaccine safety, and the cost of providing health care. But to remain competitive, the center is also focusing on the future. In the 10 to 15 year range, I think the information from genetics is going to be absolutely transformative. We're conducting a couple of novel studies. The first is on Lynch syndrome, and in that study, we're identifying families that are at high risk of developing colorectal cancer and other kinds of cancer. And in the second study, we're doing whole genome sequencing and informing couples prior to conception about their risk of having a child with either a life-threatening or serious condition. In 2008, the center established the Northwest Biobank, collecting thousands of blood samples from willing Kaiser Permanente patients. The genetic material in these samples will be used to develop new treatments and screening tests. Over its 50-year history, the type of research conducted at the center has changed, but the mission to improve public health remains the same. And that will keep the Kaiser Permanente Center for Health Research going for the next 50 years.